this video I wanted to talk about one of the most common drills that anybody's going to do if they ever take a training class or whatever. Ready. Up. Ready up drills. So, anyways, most of the time you're going to be performing this with a carbine. It's just going to be simply going up and engaging your threat. So, what is this drill good for? Well, Here's the thing, what are we doing when we're doing the ready up drill? So, the ready up drill isn't just, you know, facing your target and bringing the weapon up. You can also be facing, you know, to the right, the left, the rear. Uh, you could uh, basically be standing there, be turning, or just uh, bring the weapon straight up into the threat and going into a kneeling, into a prone. Uh, anything where it's basically, for the most part, your position does not change you know, forward or back or laterally, you might just be doing a turn into the target. So, uh, the ready up drill is basically you learning to uh, do a couple things. Number one, you're bringing the weapon into your eye from identifying the threat. So the idea, the idea behind the ready up drill is basically, you know, as far as a carving is concerned, you're basically ready and you're over here, uh, you know, your eyes, you don't have immediate like visual on the threat or whatever so the idea of looking at your threat and identifying it and then bringing the weapon up into your uh, eye or you know whatever into your field of view your sight at least and then engaging that's the idea of the ready up drill so it's kind of kind of goes against what you're typically taught with a rifle which is basically wherever your eyes go your muzzle goes and that's basically to speed up the time where if you identify a threat you just bring it right up and that's where the ready up drill is kind of going to work in your favor because if you're faced away from your target for training and you're going to do a ready up drill like this you basically look over the shoulder identify pivot or you know jump to it and bring the weapon up, you're supposed to basically identify the threat first, keep focus on that, and bring the weapon up and deliver accurate shots on target. That's the idea of the ready up drill, is to basically get your body used to identifying, facing, and engaging the threat very efficiently. Because, here's the thing, when you're typically bringing a weapon into your eye, say a pistol or a rifle, it's pretty much the same thing. If you're bringing a weapon in your eye, sometimes you can overshoot and you go a little high and then there's a little adjustment. Just try snapping your weapon into your shoulder. And the idea behind the ready up drill is to get your body used to the exact amount that it's going to take for you to get right on target. Whether you're turning to the right, turning to the left, turning completely around, or just facing it. It's somewhere in your field of view and you don't need to pivot at all. So. Basically, that's what it's supposed to be there for. So, you might see a lot of people that'll go to a range and, or you might see a lot of videos where people will go to a range like maybe it's a competition shooter or someone who just spends a lot of time with one weapon and they, they drill a lot, right? So, they basically just turn into the target and basically, boom. And it's an accurate shot and they're able to make a really good shot. Well, that's because they practice so much that they're able to identify and get the weapon right in their sight. And it's, it's two things. Number one, they're very efficient at their identification. And also, right when they see that their sight is within that field of view, they're able to take the shot. They're able to anticipate right when they're able to take the shot. And two, also, uh, typically their reaction skills are a lot better and they're very efficient in their movement. So they might be spinning their head with their eye. And as they're bringing the weapon up, they're able to cut down the time because they're doing a lot of things all at once. They're identifying the target while bringing it up and then verifying the sights are on and pulling the trigger without moving the gun. So they're doing a lot of things at once because they've drilled this over and over again. And that's the point of drills, getting something done to where it's second nature and also very efficient. Just like your draw stroke, you're cutting all the, all the corners out of your draw instead of going up, pivoting down, and then joining and doing something like that. You're cutting corners. You're learning how to cut corners to be very efficient and do a lot of things at once, like 
pulling the trigger as you're going out. So by the time you're at the apex of your presentation, the shot is let off. So that's the point of drills. And the ready-up drill is one of those drills that can actually help you be more efficient with a carbine, even with a pistol. Because like if you're in law enforcement, you're probably going to spend more time drawing your gun and holding it on someone or being ready to hold it on someone than you are actually using it. Now, if you're a civilian pulling out your pistol, most of the time you're going to go from the draw right into action. Well, at least ideally you should, but there are plenty of jurisdictions where I guess you could hold someone. But the ready-up drill can be useful if you are in a holding position or you are at the ready and there isn't really a threat, but you're at the low ready and then a threat presents itself, you can quickly bring it up and engage. This is not something... This is not a drill that I would sit there and spend all too much time on, but I would go back to it to kind of test how proficient you are at getting your weapon up in these different positions. And yes, you can drill facing to the right and going to the left, facing the left and going to the right, going to the rear, uh, going from standing to kneeling or kneeling into prone, uh, maybe even like uh, contact drills in the military. We'd be patrolling this way, we'd get contact rear, and then we would swing around and go down into the prone because the first thing is cover and that could be a ready up drill if you wish but it's something that you can drill and it's only going to help you so anyways as long as the ready up drills are um, being done in a way that is going to be beneficial and is actually completely concentrated you have a goal with every repetition and it's not just you know repetitive without even think about it every repetition is you know, you're putting cognitive thought into the process of what you're supposed to be doing, you're being very diligent about making those hits count, especially when you go live, then the ready up drill can be a very good drill, dry, or live, with live ammunition. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and put a comment uh, down below. Uh, let me know what you think and if there's any other uh, videos or uh, any other subjects that you'd like me to touch on. But other than that, thanks a lot for watching it. And I will see you guys in the next video.